Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, hope you're having a great day. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. So I have a buddy um, over in Pennsylvania, actually um, the same guy that helped me design my uh, Lady Bass logos. His name is Chris. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I sent Chris some of the LB hats that I had made a little bit while ago. I had a couple extras and uh, he wanted some for himself and some of his, you know, kids. So I sent him a couple along with some uh, baits for him to try that I knew for sure that he haven't, he hasn't had a look at. And um, behold, got a return package. So this is from Chris. I have no idea what's inside, absolutely no clue. He did hint that he tried sending some food, so we'll see if that made it over the border. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what uh, he picked out for me baits-wise. Um, he has really good taste, and I'm, I, I know he watches a fair bit of my videos, so he knows what I have tried and I haven't tried, so I'm sure he put a couple of goodies in there. So uh, yeah, we're going to open it up. A uh, little unboxing. It's gonna be kind of cool because I have absolutely no idea what's in here. Um, and yeah, let's let's be surprised, I guess. So, you get some scissors. Huge shout out to Chris for the care package. Very nice of him. Didn't have to do that, but if you guys want to check out his YouTube channel, I will leave a link down below. He uh, does a lot of taco reviews, a lot of unboxings. Doesn't really film fishing too much anymore, but really, really cool guy. Holy moly, guys. Chris, holy crap. That was not expecting that. It's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. <laughs> you really did not have to. Where do I even begin? Wow. I'm assuming most of these are for the intention of me trying, which I will for sure. Let me just show you guys what he stuffed in here because there is a lot. So starting off, I see some swim baits. Kai Tech Easy Shiners, 4 inch. Right there. This color is pretty neat, kind of imitates the perch. Actually, I guess this color does too, imitates the perch that we have up here. So this will definitely get used. These are some nice baits. <laughs> some, some really nice baits. Um, some Reaction Innovation Sweet Beavers. I actually have used these before. These are in a watermelon red and black fleck. Haven't used this color, but have used the beaver. Very, very good beavers. Oh, they're two different sizes. The 420 and the 350 right there. This is like, this is enough tackle to like last me the whole summer pretty much. Um, a lot of robo worm stuff here. Some robo worm three inch Ned worms, which I have never tried before. They look really nice though. In Aaron's Magic, which is a great color. Some more here, Watermelon Dawn. Aaron's Blue Smelt, that's a cool color. Another one here, Hologram Shad. And four and a half inch Curly Tail in baby bass right there. That's really neat. It'd be a great bait to uh, to drop shot, even do like a little one odd or two odd um, straight shank worm hook and fish it fish it weightless or with a with a small weight. Really neat. I've like this is something I would have probably personally never bought myself, but something that's a hundred percent gonna slam gonna slam the fish up here in Ontario for sure. It's cool to see what he buys, I guess, or uses versus what I use. Um, you know, we're totally in two totally different markets. He's down in Pennsylvania. I'm up here in Ontario. Um, we have different, you know, marketing exposure, different exposure, different baits. Our, our tackle shops carry different things. So it's really cool to see what he picked out here because some of these things I probably would have never, one, found here or two, bought up here. 4.2 inch has a dong there. Never used the 4.2, I've only used the little ones, but that's really neat right there. Oh no way, this is actually one of my favorite baits. <laughs> Caffeine Shad and Baby Bass. When the bite is tough, put this on an EWG and you're gonna slam some fish. The five inch too, the five inch is the way to go. That's awesome. Here we got, there's just so many, I don't even know where to go. There's a baggie here. Danger Isabella hooks. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> oh, I see what he did here. 
Okay, we were chatting about these mega bass spinner baits here, and I was saying how I wanted to try them. Just haven't. Well, there we are. <laughs> I forget what these are called, but I know he did a video on them a little while back. It's a really, really high quality spinner bait right there, and I like the small spinner baits like that. Oh, I know what this is. This is the uh, Beast Coast Hustler jig right there. Awesome jig. This looks like... I have no idea what this is. Is this also Beast Coast? I don't know what this is. I'm going to have to ask them. If you guys know what jig this is, let me know. Either way, really cool color. Another little Hustler. Another jig. This I have absolutely no idea what, what kind of jig this is. Maybe a Strike King. Look at that uh, line tie. It's a little different there. Huh. Like a swim jig? Gonna have to ask him. <laughs> Dark sleeper right there. No secret no more. These absolutely get smashed. A couple more jigs. Again, one of those, I think this is a Strike King. Another one there, like mini jigs. We have a smaller two out hook on them, as you can see. Perfect for like a medium or a lighter, medium heavy rod. Wobble head. Two more jigs and this is a mega bass crankbait right there it's flat sided so probably has a little bit of a tighter wobble not a huge huge lip on it that looks really nice though i gotta start throwing crankbaits more that's for sure we have a couple more net baits here in this power uh power bait bag look at that look great on a drop shot as well <laughs> Some uh, culprit baits, which I have actually not seen in Ontario before, so this is pretty neat. They are the Incredi Craw, 3.5 and 4 inch. I'll show you guys one of them. Oh, that's cool. Kind of reminds me of a brush hog a little bit, but a little bit beefier body. That's going to be amazing on a Texas rig. So, 3.5 inch in Watermelon pepper, black and blue, green pumpkin, and a crawduck color, which looks really, really cool right there. These I'm excited to try. Haven't seen anything like that up here. Personally, haven't used anything like that. So that's going to be really cool. Oh, another culprit in June bug right there. Damn, Chris, you're really ball balling out here. <laughs> wow. Um, Spark Shad, four inch. I haven't used these in probably two years. Amazing baits. They only last about one to one and a half fish though. So I haven't bought them again, but these are amazing, amazing swim baits that I have used before in a great color right there. This is uh, a Simcoe color right there. That's for sure. Some five inch and like a blue lamb color there some sankos you can't go wrong with sankos <laughs> it's a cool color too kind of like a like a shad or cisco pattern it's going to work great on those lakes that have those bait fish awesome some more kitex here really neat color the general haven't used the general yet i've used gamamoto's Yums, but not the generals. This is a cool color, like a like a brown with green and blue fleck. Caramel apple, it's called maybe, possibly. It's really cool. Definitely gonna get used. As you guys know, Sankos are almost always tight on the boat. <laughs> um, speaking of Sankos, we got some more here in like a watermelon color. And like a two-tone here, watermelon with some copper. Power bait, grass pig. I have used the grass pig before, back when they used to be in the Havoc bags. So it's been a while, but that's a really neat color right there as well. What is that? Natural shad. Look at that. That's really neat. Very soft plastic, so at least what they were when I used to use them. I'm assuming they're the same quality just in a new package oh yeah <laughs> i opened it the wrong way though so that's gonna be a later issue and then 
The rest we have some depth stuff, it looks like. Oh, no. Some rage bugs, Okeechobee Craw. Actually, one of my favorite colors right there in the rage bug and the rage craw. I use them a fair bit. And the rest is depth stuff, so. Or almost, or I guess it's JDM stuff. We got two depths packages here, both flats, which is something I have not used before. Don't even know how to use that. I guess you Texas rig it? Or do you swim it? I think you Texas rig it. That's pretty neat. That's something something very interesting and new to try. And like a nice bluegill color there. These I've seen before. The Samatuka Shad. 5 inch. It's kind of like a fluke. Right there. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube about it. I'm going to have to go back and have a look at them. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure how you fish it. I'm assuming you fish it like a fluke. I think I've seen people rig them um, like with a with a size one or one knot uh, drop shot hook and fishing it weightless like that and just twitching it like a fluke. But that's really cool right there. Uh, some more depths. These are six inches. Might actually be a really nice bait here for pike. I'm not going to use them on pike, but I think it might be a nice bait for pike. Look at that. Yeah, you got ribs at the top here for your EWG. That's going to be a sick bait. Great for the summertime too when the fish are a little bit more finicky. Not necessarily finicky, but when the water is a little bit warmer, you know, they're not feeding up as hard. Fluke's a great way to go just to get that uh, finesse bite out of them. And then last, well, I guess not last but not least, oh, there's more. <laughs> G-Crack Bellows Gill. I know Canadian Tackle Store carries these. I never picked them up because I've never really known what to do with them. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look this up. I may go back and watch Chris's videos on this. I'm pretty sure he did that unboxing. All the all the writing is in Japanese, so I have absolutely no idea. But I'm I'm pretty positive these you flip as well. Really interesting. <laughs> really cool. Something again I probably wouldn't have bought myself. And last but not least, we got some do live beavers. I've seen these around. I've been wanting to try them. I just have it. 3.5 inch. You guys can see there in like a green pumpkin color in a black with red fleck color and like a watermelon color there or a, a sprayed grass kind of color. Really cool bait right there. Definitely need a smaller hook if you're going to want to flip him. Like a 2 watt maybe, but really neat bait there. And we got some shirts here. This is actually, this actually says Aaron on it. So we're going to leave that for Aaron. And this has my name on it. Let's have a look. So Chris actually does a fair bit of logos and, you know, graphic designing for a bunch of different guys. But he sells his own merch online. Um, and I'm guessing this is it. <laughs> what does it say? I'm with the bass. Nice. Nice shirt. And one more here. I'll link his Instagram down below. You guys can go have a look. Nice blue color here. What does it say? Oh, lady bass. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look what he did here, guys. It's my lady bass logo on top. And uh, hope you're having a great day. My little intro there that I've been saying for the past, like, five years. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. That's really thoughtful. Chris, I'm sure you're gonna watch this. Thank you so much. You went, this is like absolutely insane. You went above and beyond here. Um, I really appreciate it. And for everyone watching, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned. I'm gonna try some of these guys out on the water the next couple of days. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.